welcome back to another Trenton World 3 live stream. I was thinking about doing the German route, but then I was like, nah, let's do some Southeastern. So that's what we're doing. We're doing some Southeastern High Speed Extended tonight. Although we're not actually really going to be on the extended bit, apart from the first sort of 10 minutes or so. Although I suppose you could say Southeastern High Speed upgraded um, as the route is you know, looks better and well throughout the whole thing. So that is what we're gonna be uh doing uh uh this evening. Um right, let's uh I'm just on the menu at the moment. Uh I don't really know what we're gonna be doing. Um I sort of wanna go in the four six five and run it the whole way along from Dartford to Thingma Bobby. But I think you can only do that in summer. Although, I think that might just be AI. Uh, London Bristol Ramsgate. Oh, that'd be alright. Um, yeah, I think we're... I think we'll do that one. Um, oh, there's got this one as well. Dartford to Fab. That's actually quite good. Any evening ones? I sort of like, you know, as it's night time now. Um, any long night ones? Not really. Nope. Uh, okay, well we'll do that then. Um, let's set that to fourth of September. Uh, September already, awful. Um, I'm just doing clear skies. There we go. That will do. Anyway, this is what we do have in the chat. See, I've been out today. I was working at Brighton today. Uh, we got Quicko, Sim, Crazy Dash, Roy, Quicko, uh, Lil. I was gonna take the day off from streaming, but I, I couldn't. I couldn't not. So I, 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 I we're doing it. In with the bus, Gordon, James, um, Julian, uh, we got English Mingers, uh, uh, this is out now. Nice, uh, quick out, we got uh, Exploring, Decker, we got LaserJet, we got Census, we got Alexander, it has been a long day, Pivers. Uh, we got Zach, we got sorting out all the football and stuff, we got Joseph, SJ, we got lots, we got Davidoff as well, how is everyone doing? Oh, nice, Gordon. Hello, transport fan. Well, that's will be fun, going the whole way to Faversham in the 465, which is a very nice track. Whoa, why is that really faint? Um, let's get the doors open. Uh, let's get the AWS on, DSD, and all the other fancy stuff. Hello, Ben. Hello, Sam. Um, and we'll keep the regen brakes off. I mean, the regen brakes sound nice, but we want to be realistic. Well, they do sound nice, so... There's Amanda. It's been a long day for what have you been doing, Joseph. <laughs> he was reading the article about South Eastern High Speed timetable and there's a round to get London Bridge in the evening. Ah, we'll, we'll just do this one for now. Be alright. Um, get that off. And set that today running. When do I play and train tomorrow for on the PlayStation? Tuesday, hopefully. Hello, French Day. We'll be on Tuesday, we'll be on quite a bit because on Wednesday, bloody going back to college. Which I'm already looking forward to, but yeah, I suppose it has to be done, doesn't it? So that will be on Wednesday, and whoa, what is going on there? That's weird. That shouldn't be like that. Hello, Biggs. Oh, shall I take a screenshot of that? Oh, I see, Josie. How do you FPS counter on keyboard? Press F3. Shall we psycho? Hello, Gregory. How are you? That does look very weird. Got to wait until 49 past. Nice. Oh, awesome uh, English. Yeah, nice. Hello, King Carrot. Nice barcode. How <laughs> was there? Right, let's get the doors shut. Uh, and our next session stop is Green Hive. Let's do it hardless as well. It's, it's easier on the eyes. Right, let's get going. We have Hello, Finley. Yeah, it was quite quite something, wasn't it? How you find? How's everyone finding Train Sim World Three? And also Pivers, how are you finding it? Another one for United vs Arsenal. Nice. You got the hidden secret on the inside PIS board. What's that? Hello, Daniel. Quite a lot of bugs on Train Sim World Three. I haven't found many. Hello, Daniel. Yeah, I saw you, Dexter. Out we go, Dartford up to 50. 
So we'll be going through uh, Stone Crossing first. You're re-downloading the 1938 tube stuck for trains in World 3. No, you can't yet. You've got to wait until the 6th of September. Nice Gordon. Hello Archer, how are you? Fair enough, uh, Pivers. Is the Isle of Wight route going to be on Trains World 3? Yes. Can you do the horn? Yeah, we're doing it on the 66. Oh, are they? That's weird. <laughs> Wagon sounds in the loco. Now, that is weird. No, I haven't had that yet. Yeah, it was good, Davidoff. Nice, uh, Psycho. Yeah, good, Davidoff, yeah. Oh, that's not really a secret. That's Yeah, that's on there. Hello, Tony. That's probably there realistically. So, well, on most trains it is now. That is a nice horn, yeah. It's a nice sounding train. It's better with regen brakes on, but you're not really supposed to have them on. I don't think they do realistically. Oh, is it not? Uh, quick, uh, Isaac. Well, motion blur, I just have it on or off. On PC, I think I have it off. On console, I have it on. Do I like tennis? It's alright. Bit of fun, isn't it? Uh, we sure have King Carrot. Uh, yeah, it has changed. Railway enthusiast. Hello, uh, Ben. Oh, the train sim material is on train sim. Oh, yeah, train sim world. Freya, yeah, they'll be coming over on the 6th of September. On Xbox, Steam, and Epic. Then on PlayStation, they'll be every week, I think. Because so many useless buggers. Fair enough, uh, Sim. I was seeking care. For my holiday to Greece, we're going on Jet 2 and Ryanair. Nice. That'll be nice. Football rights? I don't know what that is, Lil, but I don't know. <laughs> nice, Amanda. He did, yeah. Football rise. This is Stone Crossing. Hopefully, it looks all good. On Wednesday, okay. Wednesday and Thursday. I'm hoping it's going to be a good timetable because I want to work, not bloody do that. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's only three days, like last year, so then I can work more, which is better. So. Your birthday's in a couple of weeks. Where's the year gone yet? Yeah, it's um, it's gone quick, hasn't it? It's gone quick. I go on La Fanta. Oh. Uh, probably Sam. Yeah, most likely. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, fair enough, Sim. On the PC, it runs well. It runs smoothly. I'm just looking forward to getting it on the console. Nice, James. We stream the Isle of Wight route, maybe at some point again. It's just going too quickly, isn't it? Too quickly. Summer went too quick. Years going too quick. This decade will probably go quickly. How has your computer's performance been on Train Simul 3? It's surprisingly good. Which I wasn't expecting. There's no stop mark here, which is a bit naughty. Um, yeah, there's no stop marker. Which I don't know if that's intentional or that is an issue. So it's a 50 50, isn't it, really? Here we are. Uh, you might as well get an Xbox if you just complain about PlayStation. It's, I mean, it's a good console, it's just Sony as a company. They just don't care about players. But they make, yeah, a good console. I'm, I'm not changing to Xbox, it's just. Sony themselves, they don't care about the community and stuff. Uh, what then? I want F. Uh, I haven't. King Karen, no. Nice, Harry. Nice, Archer. Oh, we'll see. That would make it, I don't know. Years fly by. Media studies, Omar. Again. Well, not again. The same one, but. Let's go Graves then next. Not stopping at uh, Swans Coombe or North Fleet. A or some laser jet. Uh, maybe Isaac. I'm, I might remember. I mean, a lot of people have birthdays on here, so I might remember it. 
And if you just come in and say it's your birthday, that would be awesome. That's it though. A Welsh shoot would be nice, yeah. Let's get the window open. Make it sound even better. Yeah, but it, I mean, it's, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not wrong. It won't be long, and it will be Christmas. Do I like the GTA Five? I do. I haven't played it in a long time. Uh, I've played it since 2014. It's pretty boring now, um, but it's, yeah, I haven't played it in a while. Certainly not bound. What's the best thing to do on a two hour 45 minute break from my next college lesson? Uh, go to McDonald's, go on a walk, sit in the park, go home if you're nearby, I don't know. Yeah, I saw that, okay. Well, they let you view anyway, so that's good. It is, yeah, the free, the horn is the uh, one from the Brighton Main Line, from the 377 one. Fair enough jam, but like a modern northern route. That wouldn't be too bad. I suppose you've got Cathcart Circle, that's a modern UK route up in Scotland. Um, yeah. Why not, Psycho? Why not? We put ours up in December and that's whizzes by. By the time you put it up, you're taking it down. Hello, Jason. How are you? A train spot if a station that you could do, yeah. Yeah, you'll keep it, Isaac. Oh, fair enough. Um, okay. Hello Tony, have you ever played Train Sim World realistically ever turned off? That's what we're doing now. You had to do heavy lifting today, nice Joseph. How is it? Uh, been already. Awesome bigs. It's fun, isn't it? It's, it's a fun route, um, Cajon Pass. I was sort of thinking it, I was, when I first saw it, I was like, oh no, another really boring American freight route. But no, it's, it was actually quite enjoyable. I mean, it was quick. You know, it's, was it 55, 60 miles an hour? The train sounds really good. The, scene, the scenery is nice as well, because even on the slow bit, the scenery is nice. So you can sort of, you know, that makes up for it. It's really nice. It's, it's a nice route. Genuinely enjoyed it. And it doesn't actually take too long to get from one end to the other. Awesome bout. So yeah, I was, I was quite impressed with um, Cajon Pass playing it. And just also the dynamic weather as well, you know, going from clear skies to a thunderstorm when we were up in the mountains and back to clear, you know, clear skies. It was it was amazing. So yeah, really enjoyed Cajon Pass and we definitely will be doing it more as well. Um, potentially my favourite American freight route. Well, the Horseshoe Curve, that's still, that's still up there. Just the way, yeah, the scenery on it would sort of make makes up in the slow bits. The scenery makes up for it being slow. That must be good. It, yeah. Fair enough, Archer. Yeah, it, it was good. It was good fun. You can lose brakes on Calhoun Pass. Hello, Mark. I don't know. Why I'm going a bit slow here, but so reading chat and driving is is not tough, but you've got to be careful. Gravesend is coming up and it will come down to 30 miles an hour. Awesome, uh, Dexter. Press B on the keyboard, that will do the um, signal bell. I know what it does. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's fairly simple. I mean, it's 70 miles an hour pretty much the whole way to just after Swanscombe. That comes down to, uh, not Swanscombe, um, Greenhive. 
Well, stone crossing green hub, and uh, after stone crossing it, I think it goes down to 50. So. Obviously, apologies if I'm missing any chat, just pop your comment again. Sounds good, Jason? It's good, Mark. Is that laser jet overshoots or the other laser jet? How are you both doing? Oh, there's a 66 there. That's exciting. Why is it got its night lights on? I really do like the uh, look of the new wagons, though. It's nice to have some new freight wagons as well. That's a bit slow into the station there. Yeah, here we are. This is uh, Gravesend. Fair enough, Harry. Fair enough. Yeah, we're actually early, which is good. Hello, Kevin. I'm all good. How are you on the German route and train tomorrow for It's basically just two high-speed trains from one end to the other without any stops in between. I don't know if there is a you know full fast service, but they usually stop at Fulda. Fulda. Oh, nice, uh, David. Good for you, mate. <laughs> don't be man get stuck on Cajon Pass. Do you know what the 14 gigabyte update was? What, for Train Sim World 3? Absolutely no idea. A 14 gigabytes update. Maybe that's the preservation updates, maybe. Or getting ready for that. Maybe. Could be, actually. Could be the um, pres updates getting ready. Awesome, Ben. Something I would like to see working. I don't know if that actually has got it at this station. Uh, no, I don't think it has it. I'll show you when I do find one. But yeah, the off indicators. Let's get the door shut. I think there's an ECS move you can do. Strewed next. Hello, AM. Would you do a night time route to Ashford? I, I certainly would. Not tonight, but I certainly would. Fair enough, train fan. The passenger lights should be on. I almost thought they were off there, but I mean, they should be. We did turn them on. Yeah, they are on, just a bit dim. Minor fixes, 14 gig. <laughs> Fair enough, Jambo. Since looking to the Peninsula update coming to your home area, fair enough. Yeah, that'll be good. Peninsula Corridor getting an upgrade. This hasn't really had a lot done to it, really, since the MP36 or the MP15. I think that, yeah, the MP15. So that'll be good. Started to download Trentamore 3 PS4 edition to get an easy platinum trick. Have you already got platinum on the PS5 one? Are you going to do the buses? So if it gets an update, then yeah. Maybe. Hello, Everest. How are you? Hello, Everest. Yeah. So I saw it twice, so I said it again. Uh, that'll be the 6th of September, Mark. Yeah, the 6th of September. Up to 70. And that's 70 all the way to the 15 near Strood. There we go. Start to rain where you are in real life. Lovely. Clear out there. Well, when I was walking home, it was fairly clear. Did anyone call you names today? Uh, no, not today. I mean, the police officer next to me got called a, the W word. Um, but no, not, not me, so that's all good. There were quite a few knobbish football fans, but I mean, football fans, come on, yeah, let's be honest. 
Is it a new line and a bus? I don't know. Davidoff, you got the East Tower coming. Well, sort of chavy football fans. There's a lot of them, but they they were all right. Will the old routes like GWE transfer to train some of free? Sure will. Twisted wool. Sure will. You found service from St Pancras to Ashford International. So that absolutely Ooh, lovely. I think some do. Not really. Yet. Well, sort of. I am looking forward to it, but I'm not at the same time. I'd rather just go and get money and work. But yeah. So it's only a few months to go. Hello, Fusion. Get to see Amanda every day, so can't complain. Beep, 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 there we go. Oh, and I've actually also added the little um, staff um, station. I like that. Because that wasn't on the... Um, I've not noticed that in the time I've been playing this. But yeah, they've actually added the um, the staff hole. Which wasn't there before. was missing. So that that's that's cool. I've got that there now, which is correct. Yeah, it's good, Jambo. I mean, Train Sim World, sort of the original, was more sort of 30 miles. I mean, Peninsula Corridor, that was like a massive thing. So it was like 50 miles and it was like a wall. And yeah, then Train Sim World 2, it was more sort of 50 miles. And Train Sim World 3, well, you know, really long. Yeah, we'll be soon, Davidoff. Hello, Pop, how are you? Who was that to Amanda? Did someone say about college? I don't know. About to go through Hyam. Where are we going? This is train to me a little bit in S no, it's not SCR. Hello Nixon. I was actually watching um what's his name? Band Tech Systems, the like developer of SCR. Quite an interesting video he did, um, you know, about a, a day in his life. Yeah, they're good. Um But no, I, I don't play SCR. A bit too old for that. Oh, so Good to hear pop. Now we'll come down to 15 miles an hour soon. The train yesterday from Newton Abbott to Tifton Parkway. And got the exit St David's football fans. Oh god. Yeah, that's that wouldn't be family friendly. So yeah, originally I believe the DSC only went off if you got, you know, away from the seat, but now it actually goes off, you know, if you don't touch the controls. I wouldn't have an interest, uh, Nathan. I've got Train Simulator and Train Sim World, which are the best train sims out there, so I don't need to play a kid's train sim. I know it probably would do well on the channel. But I, I don't want to play it. Sure do, Esben. Well, yeah. Hardly ever know what they're doing, but... Um, I mean, yeah, by the looks of things, Mark, it's uh, pretty good, isn't it, at the moment? That's true, ladies and shit. Oh, have they, um, have it off? Every two hours, or was it before every hour? When's Train to Mod 4 coming? Uh, don't know. I sort of want them just to rename, well, maybe in a couple, a bit like what they did with Train Simulator. Um, just rename it 
to Train Sim, like Train Simulator went from Train Simulator 2022 to Train Simulator Classic. I sort of hope the same thing happens for Train Sim World 3. It just goes from Train Sim World 3 to just Train Sim World. I know we did have a Train Sim World before, but it'll just make things a bit easier. Awesome uh, asymmetrical. I'm guessing you managed to uh, play in the end. <laughs> How did you find it? Well, I guess you're loving it, so that's good. Nice, Kevin. See you, laser jet. Now we're now approaching the strood. That was a weird sound it's made there. Like a little ping or something. And if you want to hear lots of network of sounds, go to London Bridge. There are so many of these there. Uh, amongst other cool things. In the Gen 8. We've got the uh, feather in the, the junction indicator there, because we're not going down the Medway Valley line, we're going up onto uh, the Chatham main line. Maybe, uh, so I could, yeah, that would be, uh, that'd be good. I don't want to see Davidoff. It's a bit difficult then. And. How do Hang on, pretty much. So. This is Strood. Arrived on time again. Timetables aren't as tight now as on the original Southeastern High Speed. You would near enough always be five to ten minutes late on a javelin service. Well, now that doesn't happen. I have to know, Nathan. It was up at seven today. Oh, wow. See you, Ben. Thanks for coming in. Hopefully, quick, eh? I'd buy that. <laughs> I'll see him one day. Rochester next. I'll have to have a look at Rochester, see what trains go into platform. Was it one or three? I think it's platform one, I think. I think. Yeah, so that down there is the Medway Valley line. That will take you down to Paddock. I think Paddock Wood. Yeah, Paddock Wood, I think. Paddock Wood, I think it is. And then along to Tombridge. And then this here is the um, Chatham main line. Uh, so that goes off towards London Victoria that way. Uh, I don't know, Jacob. Hello, Chris. How are you? If the Brighton main line is one of the first routes to come over, which hopefully it will be, then yeah. Uh, nothing. Yeah, nothing at the moment, Ricky. That would be the West Coast way. So, yeah, nothing. And I wonder if you can see the Medway Bridge as well. As you, you can, from the Medway Bridge, you can see the castle and the cathedral. Possibly not. There's a submarine. No, I don't think you can. I uh, would like to see us in comparison with Train Simulator 2 if the lines were the same. Fair enough. Hello, Chris. You're good? Well, that's very good then. Uh, you catch your train on Tuesday. 9.50... Oh, 9.59. Oh, no. You wish it was 9.15. Uh, Hello Jonathan, how are you? Don't know, Jake, maybe one day. 
Let's see this Rochester. Hopefully it does look all good for you guys. So lots of free one freeze today as well. Brilliant drains. Hello DGC, how are you? Even saw Big Blue as well, the BR Blue one. They are Chris. I like that they've also um, changed the stop markers as well. To make them a bit more uh, realistic. There we go. Oh, this is Rochester. What trains? Ah, maybe not. <laughs> you started your sofa more. What's that? Sofa more. Chatham after this. Arrived on time again. Are the lights are. The lights are on. They're just a bit dim. But the doors close at a different time. I heard one shut and then the other one then shut later. And let's go. And then the old Rochester station's actually been made to look like it's abandoned. <laughs> As uh, before, it was just very clean and it looked a bit weird for like a you know a disused station. It's been good, thing, Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, so they've actually made it you know look a bit more abandoned now. <laughs> you know, you've got little bits on there. You got the old subway there, and you know it looks a bit crap, doesn't it? Sort of um, um, as a you know as it's a disused station. So there's junk everywhere, crap everywhere, so you know, they've actually made it look like that now. Which, yeah, before it was just really tidy, and it looked weird. Oh, nice, uh, uh, Jonathan. They do Mondo, yeah. And overgrown, yeah, all overgrown as well. Slightly weird lighting in the tunnels here, but I'm sure that will get sorted. Then we come out into Chatham. As we go through the Medway towns. It's already been half an hour since um, Dartford. Does give you a 15 minute sort of extra journey. I haven't noticed much change with the weather as well. Which in a way is a good thing. Yeah, here we are. This is uh, Chatham. There's one of the things I want to show you. And here we are, this is, this is Chatham. No, not that. Let me get that. Yeah, it would, not, it would be awesome to see the old platforms were, yeah, they were like, when's Wi-Fi five circle come in? Don't know. Awesome bad, yeah, it would be cool to see this working. As this is simply, to just let sort of station staff, you know, OBS and stuff guard, that, let them know that the signal there's green. So when it's green, this will light up as off, or when it's, not red. Um, this will light up, so it'll be, you know, it will say off, which means the signal ahead is clear, so it's not a red. Um, so yeah, I feel like it would be not like a difficult thing to implement. I know. Would it be a di would anyone know program? Would that be a difficult thing to just simply light it, link it to the signal there when the signal's yellow or green? It lights up when it's red. It it it's off. That'd be quite cool to see. That'd be cool, Mark. 
Get the door shut. It is Gillingham next. Right, let's go. Not pretty much any other signal, not like danger. And into Chatham Tunnel. Yeah, it would be cool to see that lit up. But it would also be really cool to see the um, um, signal indicators as well. So, you know, closed doors and um, right away. Well, that probably would be slightly harder to do, though. Yeah, pretty much had them. Pretty much like this here. Same purpose. Well, in fact, some stations have that instead of an off, don't they? Is that Brighton say? Platform 8 has an off indicator, although Platform... Well, fair, Platform 8 has a banner repeater and an off indicator. And Platform 6 has just a banner repeater. Nice, quick, eh? But, you know, that would be something cool to see. And it probably would be fairly basic as well. But just adds to that realism touch. And then, yeah, the other one is closed doors and right away. But I think they, I think that would be quite hard to implement. Although maybe you could do what uh, what Rivet Games did with the Erosa line, where um, they've sort of got the button to press and then it goes, it changes the signal. It do, it does something to let the train to let the driver know the train's ready to go. So that would be something cool as well, maybe. Even if the closed doors and right away didn't work, maybe you know the players would have the option to, you know, click the buttons themselves and make it light up. I bet like on the Erosa line where you can click the um, signal guard button and it changes it. There's a javelin. In fact, that's a fantastic idea. Oh, see, Adam. Chilling on next. In fact, that would be actually really awesome to see in the next um, um, UK route on Train Sim World. What I just said, when you click the button, it might change it a bit like on the Erosa line. I shall put that in the suggestions. Hello, Underground. How are Yeah, I'm all good. Hopefully, you're all well. There's the Pringles machine there, that's part of the Pringles competition. Also Matthew. What are you sharing, quick eye? And it goes up to uh, 80 on the way to Raynham. So we're now sort of the med medway kerfuffle now. Hello Munchies, how are you? Hello Beard of Power, how are you as well? Welcome in. Wow, we've got three minutes here. So there's a slight allowance here for performance. Nice. In fact, let's, um, let's hop out the cab. Let's get the DRA on, that's already on neutral. Uh, we can pop out. I don't know that one. That, oh, the close actually did open it. Will there be a save game option coming? Uh, in future, yeah. What a beautiful trainer, the 465, and it sounds good as well. Hello, fake southeastern, how are you? It's lovely. Uh, also, let's admire the new PIS inside the train. Text the BTP on 61016. And then the see it, say it, sorted. Which is cool. Ramsgate via Faversham. Because you can go the other way as well, via Canterbury. 
West, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's Canterbury West. Well, via Ashford. That's what we would say. Raynham, Sittingbourne, Faversham, Whitstable, Chesterfield, or Chesterfield and Swellcliffe, Herne Bay, Margate, Broadstairs, and Ramsgate. So we can actually drive that on, um, on Train Simulator. And you've got the Westgate on Sea, Birchington on Sea, all those stations. Good to hear much, I'm all good. Hello, Noah. Just uh, see you on my recommended. And how's that? I recognise you from GT UK. So, so, cheers, Beard. Yeah, we do a lot of Train Sim World. Good to hear South Eastern, I'm all good. That would be cool, Noah, yeah. Would have been quite cool to see the Sheer Nest branch. That's only a little bit, isn't it? Just sort of, well, just a tiny extra bit. Oh, well. Let's get in. Close that. Oh, there's a 375 coming in, an Electro Star. I saw plenty of them today. Hello, Richie. Uh, that last gen ca can get sparks on Train Sim World 3. Yeah, should be able to. Awesome. Yeah, there's uh, the Electro Star, which now has new sounds. It has the Brighton Mainline 377 and 387 sounds. So it's pretty much now got Armstrong Powerhouse sounds. Which is good. AP sounds are good. <laughs> are you going to be showing us the TGV, du uh, TGV duplex? Uh, yes, once uh, we're on the PlayStation and once LGV comes across, then yes. Although I feel like I've got a feeling it wouldn't be in the first set. Well, it might be, I don't know. If it is, that would be good. Let's get the door shut. Our next station stop is Raynham. Fair enough, uh, Bid. Fair enough. Or maybe we'll get you into trains. <laughs> A few people have been like that. They've sort of haven't really been into trains, haven't really been into train sims. And then by watching, they've been like, oh, we should actually try that. Now they enjoy it. Let's go. It's a nice chilled out game. Most of the time. Not when um, PZB's screaming at you. And then you got Gillingham level cross in there. Does LGV come across on Tuesday? Oh, I think it has got a really tiny preservation update. I think. So, possibly. They might sort of prioritise it as there is a layer onto this route. Yeah, the, the 395 sounds have been tweaked. And you've got Gillingham Football Ground there on the right. There it is, Gillingham Football Stadium. Fair enough, uh, Beard, fair enough. Hello, Squareface, how are you? What did you think of um, when Jason played it? Sort of off the game and stuff. Hello, Jude, how are you? Let's get a flyby shot. I've been meaning to get one. Hey, 19 NOKs from Ben. Much appreciated, mate. The little finger pointing up. <laughs> Much appreciated. And if Ben does upload an hint, but check him out. Yeah, there's a lot of detail. One of the better simulators, but one of the best, I'd say. Which you can get, especially on console. Awesome, uh, South Eastern. <laughs> Minding your own business, enjoying the ride. See for see for, yeah. And the thing is, all of the all of the people who say Sifa sound really just depressed, don't they? Sifa, Sifa, especially in the Ice One. It's like when you're listening to Sifa all the time, I ain't surprised. <laughs> awesome munchies. Yeah, I can show you the PIS. I'm guessing you mean inside the train on the outside on the platforms that is the dot matrix or CIS <laughs> fair enough quicker it's slightly I mean you could do that in your German train yeah on the German train turn off the CIFA just let it drive and you'll be fine you go and make a cup of tea you get your, make yourself dinner come back and you'll be at Fjorda or Wurzburg 
Uh, yeah, you can carry them over Mondeo. They will, they will be coming over. Although the New Journeys expansion pack will be slightly later coming over. I suppose that will be slightly trickier. Every main menu button? Uh, what do you mean by every main menu button? Lovely, quicker. I'm surprised we didn't get the uh, red light coming in to uh, rain. I'm used to I think, always get the red light to the level crossing. Unless there's another train coming in. Which could be a possibility. This is Rainham. Oh, we're going to Faversham. That footbridge looks a little different. Have they changed that? Don't know. I actually haven't driven this part of the route um, since, um, well, 20 mod 3. I don't think, I can't remember doing this bit. Hello Dean, how are you? And here we are. This is uh, Rainham. Obviously when you come to a station stop, do you put your... Uh, Reverse it into neutral. Hello, Jaro. How are you? I mean, it's great, isn't it? It's really good. Duffed Ashford. Will that be an interesting run? You sort of have to reverse at Gravesend, then go back to Ebbsfleet. And that'd be really, that'd be, that'd be bizarre. You'd have to, yeah, you'd have to then reverse in one of the, t yeah. I don't think it wouldn't really work. Uh, no, you can't go to London Victoria, pal. That would be the Chatham main line. Which also we don't have up to Victoria on this. That would be a whole separate route. It is sitting born next. Let's watch it leaving. That'll be cool, Southeastern. See ya, Ben. Thanks for coming in, mate. Much appreciated. Only the first part of it, okay? Attraction motors breaking. I think someone else might have mentioned that. Awesome Gordon, so it might clear up or maybe it will become a thunderstorm. There it goes. Awesome. We've got the window open, haven't we? Oh my god, no, 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 not the door. That's not supposed to happen, is it? Uh, hello, closed door. I don't think that's supposed to happen. I was trying to click the window. <laughs> I think the window's already uh, open, though. Lovely. Uh, is it Tuesday when we can use all of our Train Sim World 2 DLC? Yes, for Xbox P uh, and PC Steam Epic. If we're on... PlayStation will be slightly slower. Do I ever do Truckers MP? Not anymore, really. Just use the uh, official multiplayer. Much easier. CGV Euro style. Well, just uh, there's two or two or four services. And you just run them between Ashford and St Pancras. And that's the explanation. That does go off a fair bit. Yeah, it's a cool looking train known at the 465. And the 465 originally used to be DLC for Trains in World 2 uh, on South Eastern High Speed. Whereas now it's just part of the route itself. Then we're going to be going past Newington. Uh, I don't think you can, Dylan. I, I haven't found a way myself. Has anyone found a way to turn on the Ice One passenger lights? I've got a funny feeling you can't. Mm, probably the... Ooh, that's a tough one, Jude. I don't know, it's either the 465 or the 375, but no, it's a tough one. Hello, Curve. I like them all. Got a 
a whistleboard. Sounds a little bit quiet from uh, inside the camp. Hello, Kieran. Although when we were driving the 375, I think the sounds for us were reversed. Because um, when we had the window open, it sounded much louder and stuff. And when we had it shut, it sounded... Uh, no, when we had it open, it sounded really quiet. And when we had it shut, it sounded really loud. I'll see curved. Can you? Oh no, I don't think you can on the ice one. Probably on the ground, I doubt they would stop at Ebbsfleet or Stratford. <laughs> Run the 101 on the New German and see how long it takes, that will be good. Sure is Davidoff, cheers uh, Chaotic, well I'll try my best. So maybe a HST rail tour. That'd be slightly peculiar on this route. Awesome, Jude. Oh, is it a square face? I have to have a little look then at some point. As my passengers have been in the dark. You can see the clouds starting to form now. Which is very... I mean, they, they look real. I mean, if you went outside on well, a day like this, clear skies, little clouds like this, <laughs> you would ex look exactly the same. They look really good. Uh, just AI underground. Yeah, I think well, there might be some depot ones, maybe. Yeah, there might be some depot ones, but that's that's it. Awesome number of bus. Awesome curved. So that there goes up to Sheerness, uh, up that way. Awesome bigs. So I'm taking a few screenshots there. So my friend's got his um, dispatcher assessment tomorrow. And he's a little bit mixed with his junction uh, indicators, so... Giving a few examples. Um, no, you wouldn't be able to get to uh, Dartford, no. And not Ashford from Dartford on the game. Direct. Yeah, I'll show you the PIS board. You mean CIS board as we're at the station? Oh, and have they added a missing... St there was like no forecast stop marker before. I don't know, is there not still? I can't see it, maybe not. And that is a 6 to 10. And where's the 4? You prefer sand patch? Oh wow. Sand patch is slow. No, I think our homewood, I mean, for me, is, um, you know, it looks great and plays good as well. Been enjoying it. Here we are, this is Sittingbourne. Hello Mickey, how are you? There are no iron and board seats. What's the name for the 377s? There's your uh, bit in there. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. And then your CIS board. Let's take a look at the Sheerness on C1. There we go. The UK home path feels way too long. Oh. Is that a flare wolf? That's flare wolf, isn't it? Awesome. Um, that is it. That's quite a chase. No, oh, shit, that's one to see. Let's get the door shut. Right, it is 
So it should be Faversham next. Yeah, Faversham next in 7.1 miles. 12 coach formations. Oh. Yeah, PC tonight on Steam. Although on Tuesday I hope to be on the PlayStation 5. So if we are, we might do a fairly long stream. I'll see. I might still give you Flare Wolf. This is a bit easier, but yeah, awesome. Can do it? We sure can do a fly by shot. Well said. Hello, Big Will. I haven't quick call. It does sound quite fun, though. That does sound fun. in as we start. I love the world of the motors as you speed up. There sure is quick, okay? They've still got the height in the ground now. What's going on? At least it must be there realistically. It's all buried in or something. Uh, the slowest freight route over I'd say is probably Cane Creek. And the fastest German Hill of Horseshoe Curve. <laughs> That'd be cool curve. Have to try that. But it almost feels like Train Sim World 3 runs better than Train Sim World 2. It's weird to say, but it feels like it does. It's definitely running better than how it did pre release. Pre-release, I kept getting weird lag spikes down to 20 for sort of no reason, but now it's it's fine. So oh, is that juice? You would probably it would probably say edge of represented area, end of game, something like that. That's okay. <laughs> Lovely. Hello, AC. How are you? What do you call this train? Is this, is this an electric box? But it was pre release, so that seems it was all right now. Hello, David. How are you? Now we're about to go through Tenham. Uh, yeah, it goes down to Ashford and on to Dartford now. And you get all of the Train Sim Mod 3 features as well. It's pretty much a Train Sim Mod 3 route. Let's get back in. There's freight on Peninsula, don't forget the Canadians. That's true, yeah. That is true. Quicker, it's okay. Uh, yes, on the ground. But uh, hello, Kelsey. Well, not every route. I haven't purchased a route since Hamburg Lübeck. I remember there was like issues with the PlayStation code, so I was like, oh, I'll buy it, and then I, and then I bought it. See you, Jude. Thanks for coming in. Take care. Although I do, t I do buy a lot of train simulator routes. Um, yeah, I've got a fair few of them. Third-party stuff as well. You know, when there's like a big selling, I'll just go and pick, pick, uh, pick bits up. Because why not? Helps out, doesn't it? So, what controls am I using? Keyboard. It's it AC. Yeah, I was, well, it, it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel right not to do a train sim world stream. I mean, at some point I won't, but you know, but I don't know, if it's like a really a twelve hour shift again, I probably won't. But uh, I got back and I was like, I want to play train sim world three, so 
my hero doing it. It's new, it's exciting. <laughs> so yeah, so. But you know, it's sort of two weeks ago, so it wasn't really that exciting. I didn't want to get home and play train sim well, I wanted to chill. But no, just you know, it's new, so I wanna I wanna play. Awesome curve. I should do uh, underground. Yeah, I should do. That'll be Tuesday, Richard. Yeah, Tuesday. Well, so this is our only service tonight. It's a nice one-hour service as well. No, let's go right. At some point there won't be a Train Sim World stream, although there still is daily Train Sim World. Um, just not streams on certain days. Well, I have actually done a new stream count or stream timetable in the Discord server. So feel free to check that out. So today it's like either no streams or one stream. Uh, yes, one one. I do get uh, routes uh, free of charge from Dovetail. But we show them off. So, hello, Theo. There's your AC. Well, next week it's only 6 o'clock until 3 o'clock. So, I probably will end up streaming because I'll get back about 4 and then there'll be like nothing to do for like 6 hours or so. So, we we'll, we'll probably will stream. We're going to stream next Saturday. Or no, next Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday next week. Um. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll probably do it then. Where are we going to? Uh, Faversham. Oh, I see curves. A walk for Ebsfleet International. Uh, I can do. have an uh, underground 101 a lot <laughs> oh nice I will are we on time we should be on time well we should be I mean we were we were on time at Sittingbourne and I don't think we've <laughs> done anything catastrophic or anything to be late uh, so we should be alright and oh, where's the 8 coach stop marker right there is it right at the end Why can't we just stop there? The train was in the platform. Now we have to go right up to the crawl up to the red. Well, wow. that was a really nice one. That was from Dartford, and that sort of just shows how long services can be now on this route from one end to the other. And there's quite a lot of them as well, so uh, it's pretty good. I don't know what time we were due here. Forty-six, forty-eight. We were uh, two minutes late. Although we're only going 75, because, well, top speed this is 75. Well, you probably, you'd probably get some sort of performance allowance here. So we'd then, we'd then be back on time for Whitstable. In fact, I, don't, I, I think they do have performance allowances here at Faversham. There we go. Right, you want to walk through of Ebbsfleet International. 33 miles, one hour, one minute. Not bad. Uh, right, let's kind of have a... Just quickly. Oh, lovely curved. Uh, oh dear, right, uh, there we go, that one. Uh, I'll find it. Ebsfleet International. Heavy clouds. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> lovely, yeah, uh, AC. Manage you, I'll be managing my drives on F1 manager. This is Ebsfleet International, and uh, it's a very nice station. You can now go on this bit down here. 
And that there is a signal. If anyone didn't know, it's a TVM signal. Not your, not your normal colour light signal. Hello, Gainer, how are you? But that's French, that is, so uh, that's why it's not a colour light, it's TVM. Oh, collectible as well. The Daily News. But yeah, this is Ebsfleet International Station. Someone wanted to see it, so we shall have a look. It almost seems like almost like an airport. It's got really like sort of an airport terminal feel to it. I mean, maybe that's what they were trying to sort of design it off. You know, you can imagine the runway down there, sort of sitting here, watching the planes and stuff. It does have an airport terminal feel to it. Hey, Christine, how are you? Um, yeah. Well, this is um, episode. Cheers, Callum. Been for eight months. Wow. And if you want to get to the domestic, I wish these were automatic doors, like on training centre. And then you come down. It's quite a long-winded walk up to the domestic platform. Um. I mean, you come. Uh, I wonder what's through there. Uh, you come up here, and then up here, and then round. Go to again now. Uh, maybe again, yeah, maybe. And then you've got the uh, other trains here as well. But yeah, uh, that is going to be it, everyone, for today's uh, train sim. We're good to see Christine. I'm all good for today's train sim world live stream. I've got 102 lovely people watching. So thanks all for coming in at this late hour. Uh, I'm going to head off now, uh, links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal and to the merch store if you want to help support the channel, which has it lost connection, I think it has lost connection, the Streamlabs on there, so that's, that, that doesn't help, um, so slow, why is it so slow, it's supposed to be, oh it's been I mean, fell over now, let's quickly uh, refresh that, whilst we do that, come on, oh it's falling again, bloody case, but yeah, uh, that is going to be it. So thanks all for coming. It's still loading. <laughs> it's, it's getting there. Uh, that was a bit more southeast than high speed. Obviously, big fancy dovetail games for giving us the key to shut off. And it's still loading. Hurry up. Um, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Come on. It, it will load eventually. Let me quickly shut that down. It's getting there. There we go. Thanks all for coming in, and I will hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all, take care, and I think maybe tomorrow we'll do some of the German route. See you all, take care. Bye, guys.